Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful day here in our homestead, our 20 acre property located in North Idaho. Uh, Melissa, what do we got happening today? Well, today my folks are in town, which means we have an extra set of hands. My dad is pretty good when it comes to wiring. So he's going to be giving us a hand wiring up our pole barn and our well so that we can get water and a few lights going in there. We're not exactly sure what direction we're going to take as far as power goes with this entire project, but regardless, we're going to need it wired. So since we're talking about building a living space in the barn, we really need to get all the wiring done so that we can get everything up off the floor and organized and our living space going in the barn. Yeah, we've got a lot to do. It's probably going to take us a couple days, so we should probably get to work. Yeah, let's, let's get it. going. My job is taking this 12-2 wire, cutting it into seven inch sections, and I am setting up the outlet for the boys. So I'm going to be stripping the housing off, separating the wires, and getting them all hooked in so they're ready to go into the box. While Melissa is busy getting all our outlets wired, I'm taking all of our outlet boxes and I'm getting them mounted on each one of these beams. Uh, these are being mounted every eight feet. And for the sake of uniformity, I went ahead and cut this stick so I can get it set. Stick my box up on top of that. Make sure the height is correct. this yellow 12-2 wire into nine foot six inch sections it's going to be the wire that is run between the standard 110 volt outlet so we're gonna get to cutting all our pieces So we had a minor setback in the work that we were doing today. We had an inspector, a state inspector come by to take a look at our building and our setup and uh, everything was fine outside of the building, but with everything that we're getting done in here, um, we had to make some modifications to our plan. We don't, we don't plan on putting up any kind of sheeting in here. Everything's gonna be out and exposed. So with the wiring we're putting in, they wanna make sure that it is completely encased, concealed and out of view to uh, minimize any kind of risk of injury or somebody being electrocuted. So 
what we are now having to do is we're taking these six inch sections of PVC piping, we're sticking them behind the upright beams here in the building. Um, any stretch that runs along uh, these purlins or run horizontally are going to be hidden and concealed behind some two by fours that we're just gonna um, adhere to the wall. So when he comes back in, it'll be very clean. You won't see any exposed wiring or anything like that. Um, it was a little bit of a headache. We had to make an adjustment, like I said, but we press on. So here we go. until dark but we got quite a bit done we have a lot left to do but i need to get the sleeping bear here uh woken up bright and early tomorrow because i have a personal project that we need to get done before we get back to wiring the shop so we're gonna go off to bed nighty night headed down our driveway so we can put in a mailbox it's a long overdue project so we're gonna get the mailbox put in which is going to make it officially home and then we're gonna get back to uh, getting all the shop wires in place and outlets and lights and everything that we need enough fun and games there we got our mailbox in so we are going to get back to work we have a lot of wiring to do today all right so we're making progress it's taking us a while but we have a series of outlets that have been run around the bottom of the pole barn all the way around that's going to provide us with our 110 volt uh, circuit right now we're working on going up and over to wire uh, 220 volts 30 amp uh, outlet for our RV. Um, we've designated this spot right here near this window as our eventual eventual workshop workspace. Uh, so we're going to be wiring up another 220 circuit from the panel over to where you see the man door. Um, and aside from that, we also got the panel installed. So we are making progress. It's just a lot of work and it's kind of a slow go because we're working around everything that you see here on the floor. So as we're working, I'm having to move the ladder. I'm having to move some of the stuff. It's not an ideal workspace, but we're getting it done. Okay, so now we are in the shop section of where Jeremy's workshop's gonna be. So we're going to be doing some 220 uh, circuits. 
So we're not doing a parallel line, we're going to be actually installing these in circuits. So they're basically the same outlet, only we're going to be going directly in. We don't have to do the little piggy tail thing, so they're a little bit simpler. So we're going to get to work on that. <laughs> okay, first of all, forgive me for the horrible hair and horrible beard, but Melissa dragged me out here to record this, and I just got out of the shower, so everything's a little puffy and out of control. <laughs> anyway, clean. anywho, mm -hmm. uh, we had another great productive day. Uh, we got our mailbox installed, which made things yes. feel a lot more like home. Uh, we had some assistance from Melissa's dad. He helped us get our shop all wired, so we have uh, 120 volt outlets that have been run all the way around our pole barn. We have a 220 uh, section for my workspace. We have a 30 amp plug that was wired for the RV. We still don't know what we're doing for a power source as of yet, guys, but it's nice to have a sense of, somewhat a sense of completion as far as um, the shop goes with getting things run. Yeah, we really needed to run everything regardless of what we decide on power because that way we can finish off the back and also we can get everything that's on the floor in there right now up on racks and against the walls. And so everything needed to be wired before we could even get organized and get building the tiny home in the pole barn. Will I'm you stop? I'm so bothered by my hair right now. <laughs> anyway, thanks you for watching. Like a mountain man. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting uh, that subscribe button down below. We also have a membership option if you hit the join button. And if you're new to the channel or just watching this and this is the first video you've seen, maybe consider giving us a like as well. So we appreciate you stopping by. Anything else you gotta say? I don't think so. All right, thanks guys. I'm gonna go eat. We'll see you. <laughs> see you guys later.